There's a company that's focused on bringing super quick air travel back into public focus and rekindle the glory days of frightening airspeed seen by legendary aircraft in decades gone by. Hermes is an aerospace company that's only a few years old, but they've focused on developing hypersonic aircraft to completely change the world of global air travel and defense. Let's take a closer look at just how fast they're proposing to fly and what this could mean for their exciting future projects. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. Hermes has a laser-guided focus on creating aircraft that can fly at speeds over Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. For context, the previous fastest plane to exist, the SR-71 Blackbird, hit Mach 3.3. If Hermes succeeded in this, it could reduce long-distance travel times massively. For example, a flight from New York to London could take less than 90 minutes. In comparison, Concorde, who holds the record for the fastest transatlantic crossing, did it in just under three hours. The company has received backing from both private investors and the government, which has included partnerships with NASA and the U.S. Air Force. What Hermes is doing is developing a high-speed propulsion systems particularly turbine-based combined cycle or TBCC engines, capable of operating efficiently at both subsonic and hypersonic speeds. So the enabler to allow the rest of their projects to function is Chimera, one of these TBCC engines. It combines a traditional turbojet engine to achieve subsonic and low supersonic speeds, but also a powerful ramjet engine that pushes it into high supersonic and hypersonic speeds. This unique hybrid design allows for efficient performance to push an aircraft to over Mach 5. The turbojet can work even at a standstill, so it can get the quarter horse down a runway and into the air, where it'll accelerate to Mach 3 before shutting down. The supersonic intake air will then be sent around the turbojet into the ramjet, which compresses it, ignites it, and then blasts the aircraft to its top speed. The team took the Chimera engine to the Notre Dame Turbo Machinery Lab in 2022, where it was mounted to a bench in a high-mock test facility specially designed to deliver inlet air at speeds high enough to simulate Mach 4 flight. The engineers ran the jet in bursts, which needed to happen late at night to lower the huge electricity costs involved. These tests lasted five months before the Hermes team announced it had achieved a full and stable transition between the turbojet and ramjet stages. To test this beast of an engine and the other key components developed by Hermes, the company has developed the Quarter Horse, an unmanned hypersonic aircraft prototype. It's a vehicle designed to validate the core technologies needed for their future high-speed aircraft, including materials, propulsion systems, and avionics. Hermes designed, built, and integrated Quarter Horse Mark I in only seven months, and it is the company's second fully integrated vehicle following Quarter Horse Mark Zero, which completed its test campaign at the end of 2023. The remotely piloted aircraft is powered by a GE J85 engine with a primary mission to demonstrate high-speed takeoff and landing. Edwards Air Force Base, California, is the location for this futuristic-looking aircraft and the plan is that each aircraft in the Quarter Horse program progressively increases in complexity, building on the learnings of past builds. The company has said this approach manages program risk across multiple vehicles and increases the speed of delivery of products and services, as well as the plane itself. On top of this version of the Quarter Horse, Hermes has also shared plans for the next iteration of the plane, which will feature the Pratt & Whitney F-100 engine and fly at supersonic speeds in the not-too-distant future. Quarter Horse has been designed as a technology demonstrator, but isn't intended for commercial or military deployment. Instead, it shows that Hermes's systems are viable for future aircraft, such as the company's planned Dark Horse and Halcyon, which we'll look at soon. These developments are especially exciting as they're intended to facilitate the leap to hypersonic passenger aircrafts. The Quarter Horse has significant backing from the U.S. Air Force as they have been keen to develop hypersonic technology. Because of that, in 2021, the military arm gave Hermes a $60 million contract for the development and testing of Quarter Horse. 
The Air Force sees massive value in hypersonic technology for both strategic and tactical purposes, including faster delivery of military assets and intelligence, as well as developing cutting-edge technologies for defense purposes. The next step in Hermes' evolution is the Dark Horse, an unmanned hypersonic drone designed for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike missions. It will be a major leap in unmanned aerial vehicle capabilities. The Atlanta-based hypersonic aircraft startup has already selected the Pratt & Whitney F-100 turbofan that we mentioned earlier to be integrated into its larger hypersonic engine. This has been chosen to save the company billions of dollars in research and development costs and years of schedule. The F-100 recently hit 50 years of service and 30 million flight hours on F-15 and F-16 fighters. It will act as the turbine portion of Hermes' combined cycle engine, the follow-up to the Chimera we saw earlier, that will power the Dark Horse. This plane is being developed for defense and intelligence customers and engine testing has been scheduled for this year. Dark Horse will lay the foundation for the eventual development of the 20-seat Halcyon Mach 5 passenger aircraft, which we'll look at shortly. Crucially, Chimera 2, like its predecessor, is a turbine-based combined cycle engine hybrid between a turbine and a ramjet, designed for both low-speed and high-speed operation that will allow Dark Horse to use existing airports, something that rocket-based hypersonic vehicles currently cannot do. Although Dark Horse is primarily a military-focused platform, it could also be used in the civilian sector, especially laying the groundwork for hypersonic testing or as a proof of concept for future commercial aircraft technologies like the Halcyon. As far as military application goes, the Dark Horse, with its hypersonic speed and advanced design, could potentially conduct long-range strike missions at speeds that make it difficult for enemies to detect or intercept, providing a strategic advantage in modern warfare. The immense potential speed of Dark Horse, at over 3,800 miles per hour, makes it ideal for time-sensitive operations, including rapid response and ISR missions over vast distances, allowing for faster reaction times compared to traditional UAVs or aircraft. And although it's primarily designed for speed, Dark Horse may also incorporate some stealth capabilities, making it harder to detect and intercept, even at hypersonic speeds. All of this is leading up to Hermes' flagship aircraft, the Halcyon. Like the other planes we've looked at, it'd be powered by the Chimera engine and is intended to be the fastest commercial airliner ever, reducing flight times on long-haul routes to a fraction of current travel times. At Mach 5, the Halcyon could travel routes like LA to Tokyo in just a few hours, transforming how people travel internationally. It's initially planned to carry up to 20 passengers, making it a smaller and more exclusive aircraft, targeted at high-end travelers and premium business services. But seating capacity might expand as the technology matures. Hermes is also aiming for the Halcyon to be carbon neutral, aligning with growing demands for sustainability in the aviation sector. This could involve using sustainable aviation fuels or developing new technologies that minimize the aircraft's environmental impact. Halcyon could potentially have a transformative effect on the airline industry, potentially disrupting traditional long-haul carriers by offering never-before-seen speed and efficiency. It could also spur the development of more hypersonic passenger aircraft from competitors, Developing this hypersonic dream comes with significant engineering challenges, like managing extreme heat from hypersonic speeds, ensuring passenger safety, and creating materials that can withstand the stress of Mach 5 travel. Hermes is testing these issues by building on the technology developed in its military-focused projects, like Quarter Horse and Dark Horse we've already looked at. What are your thoughts on the Hermes company? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.